Okay. Oh, that's Hello, that's right. everybody. Oh, the energy. Wow. Look at this. Oh, Tesla's wow. bones vibrating. Jake's coming yeah. in hot. It's just... That's literally how they work. They vibrate your bones. Oh, you're right. Wow. Yeah. So Mine that's why they're vibrating. vibrating. Okay. You can turn the volume down. Okay. You want to turn it up. Welcome back to the Cordo Digital Podcast, mm. everybody. Thanks for being here. It's episode 165, and we have some very special guests today. We've got Peter France in the building. Wait, sorry. <laughs> Did oh your my headphones God. just lose my the... Peter, this is where you talk, and you don't have technical me. difficulties. Oh, no. <laughs> Moving right past Peter, we have Jordan Allen. What's up, what's up? <laughs> and, of course, Matt Karens himself. Yeah, well, I haven't been on the podcast in a while, but Peter clearly has not been on the podcast for even I'm longer. I'm I'm hammered. You don't know what's well, it's going on. It's fantastic to have everybody Wait, this... back in the building. Oh, are you Wait, just going to totally call? Works. You're just going to be on the phone with him? I kind of love that. <laughs> yeah. What's funny? Is, uh, it... trying to figure out his, um, his headphones no, it's and figured apparently out. using I'm his just, phone. I'm rolling on the phone because yeah. I got Jake right here and I got you guys right here. So, yeah. So, Peter's just going to be taking a call on the whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> He's just okay, like, I got... Sorry, hold on. That's some what, business. Well, yeah. well that's occurring... <laughs> I have a very special thing that I need to get off my chest. Okay. Get it off, baby. Okay. Great. All right. So here's the deal, guys. I've been living in the great state of Texas for three years now. Mm. Um, and, you know, by way of California, by way of Minnesota, by, before that, Minnesota, I was born and raised there, me, Nico, and Sam. And uh, one thing we learned growing up there is you pay attention to the weather. You just, you just do. It's something you do. Um, because if you don't, you know... It can you can put yourself in some pretty hairy situations if you're not mm. careful, because mm. um, the weather can change on you pretty quickly. So you know you le you learn to you learn to live with it and you learn to deal with it. Of course, California, you know you get rain, but usually the weather tells you yeah. when it's going to rain. And there's been a lot of rain lately, but mm -hmm. normally it's you been know pretty straightforward. Yeah. It's been pretty hard. People, people people's people's <laughs> roofs are barely leak proof in some places, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> the weather's so great there. Um, but one thing I didn't expect moving out here was uh, people's general lack of observation of what are, are some considerable weather conditions. Really? Uh, yeah. Now I, I gotta be I gotta be serious for a second here. I mean, if you don't like the weather in Texas, just wait 15 minutes and it'll be different. <laughs> um, and facts. that is it, it's either super, it gets really really hot in the summers, as everyone knows, it's no, no, nor, notorious for that. But a lot of things. A lot of things people don't know is it actually gets quite cold in the wintertime. And every year since we've been here, there's been at least one snow slash ice storm since we've been here. Hmm. And it seems like nobody has come to terms with this yet. But and I can't tell if it's just because I've only lived here. <laughs> <laughs> Christian just threw headphones, you just a a pair of headphones at Any, Peter. It's either too low or too high. Well, was, there's a reason I didn't play sports. It sounded <laughs> right, so, so violent. So I can't, I can't tell if prior to 2020, the winters were actually not that bad. And, you know, people, people were just like, whatever. So the thing, the, here's the thing. The, 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 the water pipes aren't insulated. They don't have furnaces in any of the houses. Um, so most things, a lot of things aren't even insulated. Um, and it, it, when it gets really cold, you have to do, it's called dripping your pipes, which apparently is a normal mm. practice in Minnesota. One does not drip pipes. Okay. You insulate a pipe. That's what you do. You don't drip a pipe because it gets a little bit cold. You, you insulate a pipe and therefore pipe, no pipe, no freeze. Pipe, no freeze. Okay? Pipe, pipe, no freeze basic insulate concept. Pipe. <laughs> pipe, no freeze, build pipe below frost line, pipe, yeah. no freeze. No so problem. Pipe really, really pipe dreams me. stay alive. Right, and, oh, and, and pipes right. do freeze <laughs> every you. now and then in Minnesota, but it's not like a regular widespread common occurrence every time it hits below freezing. Here, every time it hits below freezing, like there's like a line at the Home Depot where <laughs> just people are lined up to get new PVC pipe, and then what do they do? They just replace the PVC pipe and then move on with their life as if it won't happen again the next year. They never mm. learn. Or even the next month. When are they going to learn? I don't get it. So... I'm sitting here going, guys, what's going on? You know, and you know, we were, we were at the grocery store getting some supplies as the weather was rolling in pr prior to the weather rolling in and people didn't even know. They didn't even oh. know that like a winter storm was coming. And now it's, you know, it's been below freezing for like literally 36 hours 
my car is a literal sheet of ice. <laughs> like it, it, it looks like it, it looks like it came off the set of frozen. Oh. Like it's got the, it's got the icicles on it. My whole, the whole North side of my house, broad side of my house is just covered in a sheet of rain ice. Wow. So we've been okay. in literally in an ice storm for the last two days. Oh, wow. 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 And so, so Jake, this is not like a lighting setup you have. This is just the blue <laughs> of the, all of the ice. Yeah. This yeah, is just how you to, live I, right now. It was like, should I go pink? Should I go orange? No, we're going to go blue today because yeah, that's very I get it. I, yeah. I understand. Now. Are you chilly in there? You got a good heater? Uh, well, see, oh, so here's the thing. Okay. Let me take out my gum for this because this is going to be my real rant. Damn. Wow. Okay. Shit. Real He's rant. Taking, just out taking some water look, too. Oh. Look. This is Look serious. here, I don't, I don't know, you know, maybe native Texans, maybe you can correct me on this. I, I don't know what it was like before I got here, but I do have a Texas almanac. Okay. And it does tell me the weather patterns prior to when I lived here. Mm. And according to that, it's the farmer's almanac. It's like the thing that tells you the weather patterns, bef you know, it, it's like known for that. Apparently it gets below freezing at least a few times between November and March 15th almost consistently every year. Oh. Huh. So if it does that every year, and every year your pipes burst, and mm -hmm. then, so here's the thing about the houses, Peter, we don't have furnaces. What? Okay. And in California, you could go, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Why would you need a furnace? It sure. like hardly ever gets below 45 degrees in mm -hmm. Southern California. But, so what they have are called heat pumps, and they're, they're basically, it's a unit on your air conditioning that intakes the air from the outside, and from that outside air generates heat, oh, and, so it's like a but it only works. It, it only works to when your when your air gets when the outside air basically gets below forty degrees hmm. or like near freezing. The, the heat pump can't do anything more. It can't produce any more heat. So that means like you literally cannot heat your house past sixty five degrees if you're lucky. Jeez. 60 degrees. Yeah. And so when it gets really cold, which two like oh, right over Christmas, it got down to twelve degrees. At night, mm. one night, oh and wow, yeah. and and so people like they just bundle up into their like coats and they like sit. You know, we have a fireplace, but you you bundle up and you just have to deal with it because nobody thought to put in furnaces in any of the houses. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. You think of Texas, like that's Western territory. Yeah, you know, it doesn't get cold there. It's no. it's it mesas does, though. and it's open. See, the thing desert, is, the and... desert, the desert actually gets I don't really know, cold. I don't know if it does. See, yeah, no, you, but you're a Southern California boy. You don't, you, you don't know this. Like the, New Mexico gets ridiculously cold. Huh. Arizona can get ridiculously cold. Like you, you can't just go, hey guys, it's going to be fine. And apparently this is what people have been doing here since, I don't know when. Just I don't get bundling it. up That's like crazy. their freaking uh, little house on the prairie Roughing situation. It. Just... And just so I just thought, you know, like timber. maybe coming from <laughs> Minnesota, I fire. thought, hey, maybe people would have gotten used to this and thought, hey, may, you know, let us think a year in the future no. and consider of putting our water pipes underneath the ground Instant and consider putting in a gas furnace in a house so that it, way when it does get cold, which it will, your house isn't freezing and your pipes don't freeze. But yeah. everyone's like, no, it's not that big of a deal. But tomorrow's not guaranteed, you know, so I'm not going to... That's gonna, true. Yeah. <laughs> tomorrow, it could be really you know, hot tomorrow. I'm going to for now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my rant. You know, that, I, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people in the comments that are like, hey, have you thought about this? Or, hey, you know, you didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. Please, I'm open to trying to understand the rationale mm -hmm. here. Well, I'm just failing to understand it. Jake, if you had... If I could write you a blank check that was devoted to fixing this problem, what would you do? <laughs> I would... Well, I mean, like, as a problem for humanity or as a problem for me? For Texas. For Texas. For all of Texas? For all of Texas. Well, Hard cut I would off start, I would line. start a construction company that specializes in using winterizing techniques. Mm, winterizing. I'd go, up to, like I'd go up to Wisconsin and I'd go, give me your best carpenters. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to create a new company. Uh -huh. We're going to use northern techniques to actually create properties down here with people that know how to build things that are going built to withstand the accurate weather conditions that we are actually experiencing consistently and then we'll form a company and then people can hire us to make homes that don't break in the winter time oh, wow. okay here's another idea what if you filled the <laughs> the sprinkler line with gasoline oh and oh. Uh, just had them running 
full blast yeah. all day, every day, and just just strike the lighter. And so you just have big fires around every neighborhood. Surrounded. It would equalize. Yeah. By fire. It's not a bad well, idea. There is no burn ban. The, the burn ban is off right now. So technically, I there suppose you, you yeah. could do that if Gasoline you were so sprinkles. inclined. Like just a warm um, blanket around your property. <laughs> that could be really, really destructive for your your water lines, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean they're unfreezing, so yeah, right. Oh, Some people yeah, find you're, the negative you're thawing inning, so. out the water lines. But so check this out, okay? Warming. Check this out. You 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 have you right now. We're dripping our pipes, so our pipes don't freeze, right? So you send a little trickle drip through your pipes. So that why did you put it in air out. quotes though? Because I mean, I don't know. We're dripping our pipes. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of people know what that means. I didn't <laughs> know what it mean, meant until I moved to the south because I'm a northern boy. But anyways. What if it gets below fifteen degrees? I'm literally just gonna empty my. Wa I'm gonna. I'm gonna take my water pipes and I'm gonna clear them out so they don't freeze. And then like you literally just don't have water. I mean, you uh, have water like you you, mm. you put it in five gallon. You know, we have one of those little water dispensers mm. with the five wow. gallon jug. But mm. damn, the, you gotta set up. It, you know, this kind of reminds me a little bit of how California has been dealing with rain. Uh, which is incredibly poorly. Um, I'm a Florida man, so we so deal rain with is a rain thing. all the time. It's all always time. raining in Florida, yeah. um, and it's kind of it's kind of like Texas, where it's like, okay, well, it's one thing 15 minutes from now, it's not, an, it's another thing, you know. So it, it doesn't yeah. rain all the time, but it, you know, it's it's a consistent thing, right? It is a swamp. And one thing that I was shocked in living here, I, I I've never experienced so much rain here. That I then I have you know over the past couple of months when it's been raining like crazy like record breaking amounts of rain right and yeah. I realized that uh, there's one key thing uh, that that just the infrastructure in LA doesn't really have mm. and that's like proper uh, lit up markers on the road. Yes. So it doesn't have reflective oh. tape on the actual dividers, like yeah. the lane yeah. dividers. Oh yes. my god, it was impossible. Dude. And you Driving don't realize yeah. until it is wet at Pouring night. Rain. Yeah. You cannot see the lanes. Mm -hmm. You don't know yeah. what your la what lane you're in ever. Yeah. So it's like, I, and I'm I like used to baffled about it's that when I lived there and it would rain. And I feel fix. like, how just do put, people dr just make put reflective on there. line dividers? Yeah. And on top of that, it's like I'm not replacing my wiper blades ever. No. I'm not, I'm not going to go <laughs> well, to the yeah. effort to do that. That's and true. So it, they need to make it extra clear where the lanes are because I can't see a goddamn thing. Yeah. yeah. There's already a lot of water on the yeah. windshield. Another thing is that Florida, when it rains, it just is a free car wash. Um, right. Whereas here, it rains and your car is instantly dirty. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> it actually gets worse. Yeah. <laughs> I like. I actually got a car wash and then it rained the next day and my car was just filthy immediately. So it's, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome too. Cool. Yeah. So it's just go flooded. Did you guys see those videos? Mm. It was like five feet of water just in the streets of San Francisco oh, because man. they didn't have, I don't know, the right drainage. I didn't really see it, no. And and there were people, that, there were like um, vigilantes going out with rakes, like pulling shit out of gutters so it could... I like that you gave them the term vigilante. Vigilante. <laughs> vigilante <laughs> like rakers. Samaritans, I don't know. Yeah. Degunking the... <laughs> They're all dressed up in costumes. There were people kayaking around and stuff. It looked kind of fun, honestly. <laughs> It's what it happened when it, I know? was in, um, I was in, I was off on this island off the coast of Cancun called Isla Mujeres. It's a beautiful island. And um, I was there for my brother's friend's wedding. Is that where you got food poisoning? Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's a video, there's a vlog on it. I got yeah, food I remember poisoning. That. Yeah, it's like a 2016 <laughs> or 2017 vlog. But anyways, we were there and it started pouring and the entire island like flooded. Oh, wow. Um, the de there's like a down, there's like a main street, you know, where all the restaurants and where people go at night party and whatever that whole street flooded out. And I'd never seen anything like that. Um, but apparently, uh, they had that problem in San Fran as well. It's wow. pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not nearly as bad, obviously, but I mean, just even right outside the studio. It's absurd. Lake One night of rain and Lake it's Hunter? like, I have to wear my Vessies <laughs> genuinely yeah. in order to park and get here without destroying a pair of shoes. Did you ever see that video that we did where I got the raft out and I rafted down the street? Yeah. That, that <laughs> clip makes its way into any compilation of corridor content ever, <laughs> ever edited. It's the best. It's so funny. Just the visual image. <laughs> you paddling in like so a much foot glee. of water. <laughs> that was a good time.
<laughs> we had been joking about that for months and then we finally got the opportunity to do it. And I was oh, so glad because that's great. We could we literally floated the raft down the street. Yeah, worth all the pennies you spent on that raft. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, speaking of corridor content, oh. and speaking of speaking of all the good things, the reason why you all are here isn't to talk about the weather, okay, mm -hmm. or to hear me gripe about the way that houses are built. What we're really all here for is to talk about just what what the hell have we done. Yeah. What literally? What, what have, have we done? Specifically, you two <laughs> done. In, Why I mean, did we do this? <laughs> in a way, we are talking about the temperature. We're talking about the temperature of like, of of the medium of mobile games and how hot right. it's gotten. It is right. never been hotter. It's dude. never been I just, hotter. I guess so. I think you. I think you guys nailed it. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Oh, so J so Jake, I just saw this on on Discord. You haven't seen you you like oh. had just seen i our hadn't mobile game seen ad. anything so for those of you who are just listening in on this for the first time over the last week or so jordan and matt sat out, set out on a journey <laughs> to make a uh mobile game ad for peter's new game um i now, don't know if it was for the game but oh it was it was, <laughs> oh, it was, it was curated game. specifically <laughs> for, for the game it did have the title of the game in it, it yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah. and yeah. peter francis <laughs> turn yeah. out, yeah. turns out that's all you need uh, to, to connect have me legally legally yes. <laughs> so yeah. we, we had for months matt Bad. i mean you, you, we for months we've been oh, talking no. about how, i've been pitching this for a year now jake yeah th this idea <laughs> different of, like, versions of this because i like the thing is I've just been yeah. obsessed with these things. I don't know what it is. Like it, it started like really popping up a couple of years ago. Um, and we have some sick stats for you that I'll break down later because mm. it is yes. kind of insane what this industry has done and the this. growth it's had over the course of like a couple of years. But you you start to see all of these insane uh, game ads, mobile game ads. Uh, and I started seeing them on Instagram and when, uh, Facebook reminds me that it's somebody's birthday and I go on Facebook, mm -hmm. dust off the cobwebs. <laughs> um, you see all these, these ads and they're insane. Mm -hmm. They're all just like some of the craziest pieces of marketing you've ever seen in your life. They're kind of amazing. And, yeah. and you they're wonder, really well done. yeah, yeah. They're like, they're pretty highly produced. Most really of them. Um, but they just ha they just intro their ads with some of the most like horrendous things you've ever seen, like shock value stuff, big stinky booty girls and, mm -hmm. and pregnant yeah. weird pregnancy things and yeah, lots of smells. Yeah, it's uh, like they they so you, we've all seen these. I mean, you've yeah. been on YouTube, we've you've all been on seen Facebook, them. you've you, been on Instagram, you see the ad and it's like clearly a robotic AI translation <laughs> of English. And it's <laughs> then the most just like what would would be the equivalent of like pornographic imagery in the sense of of like it it immediately hits your reptilian brain. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you know? yes. It does. It's it's, mm. it's it's the low brain that the rest of your brain is built on. <laughs> that is <laughs> a great way to put it. And and it's just like lowest common denominator, themes mm -hmm. of sex, you know, defecation, mm -hmm. uh like Pregnancy, violence, pregnancy. Stinky. Honestly, zombies like, are in there too. I, I yeah, don't know how that quite fits like in, but yeah. horror, They're all part you know, of it. Yeah. Base, base horror fear. Yeah, like fear. Yeah. Violence, base horror romantic desire. Drama. Mm -hmm. The whole Lots thing is drama, structured yeah. on just the most cringy mm -hmm. of the cringiest <laughs> of like human emotions served up on an unashamed platter. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for years, Matt has been intrigued by these <laughs> videos. Yeah. Why that do these that's exist? That's not a joke. It has been do they actually work? I have been, so yeah, so that's the thing is like over the course of these like years, I've been just collecting data. <laughs> I've been, mm -hmm. I've been like screen capping. Collecting data. I've been, yeah, I've been yeah. screen capping these mobile games, putting them in my secret folders. It's for work, mom. It's for work, I swear. <laughs> um, and I guess, yeah, I guess the thing is like we were trying to figure out how to make it an actual corridor video because mm -hmm. like, like, you know, making it a crew video is like, you got to get the right framing device around it. You have to make it, give it a story. You know, you can't just make some weird emotional. If it's stakes. something weird, yeah. There, there was one point where we were just like, well, maybe we'll just react to them. But then it's like, well, we're also visual effects artists. Yeah. We got to make the dang thing too. That you know? was yeah. I'm that really was the thing. Glad is, you made one. Yeah, we, we got to do it ourselves, right? I mean, when we first set out to make the actual idea, after like a lot of discussion internally, it was yeah, just to react to. Yeah. And like Matt and I were chatting about it, and it just didn't feel right. It felt like it was just lacking yeah. something, and we. You know, we were having another larger conversation on like, what do we like? Because if we react to the mobile games, why would you want to listen to us reacting to mobile games? Like, what authority mm -hmm. do we have in the space? There's not really any real reason. Yeah, sure. Um, but 
what can we do that a lot of other creators can't do is actually go out and make our own yeah. using all the tropes we possibly can, blending it up together in this disaster mm -hmm. and surprising you with it Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as and, a gift. And, oh yeah. you know? and that's, that's when the light bulb really went off where it's like, oh, wait a second. Peter France is making a video game. Wait, so yeah. had you been making this before you brought it to me or was it? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, well no, not, not the mobile game ad itself, oh, okay, but we okay. were like just kind of conceptualizing, yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. figure it out. And then we were like, well, okay, yeah. if we can, if we can make a, a game ad that sells Peter's game, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. that's, that's the perfect framing device. Yeah. For this. We, so, so let's talk about your game a little bit. Yeah. So actually, just my for game, a, believe like, it or not, has nothing to do with <laughs> pregnant uh, women or <laughs> stinky gremlins yes. yeah. or anything like that. But you know what? I think uh, I think your marketing strategy. Mm. Uh, if we push this on TikTok, mm -hmm. TikTok will for sure yeah. light it, right? Yeah, they don't I, care. They have they, lower standards. They don't care. Yeah. We'll, we'll try TikTok. They have no yeah. shame. Yeah, yeah. If if you guys just head on over and check out the crew video, you'll kind of know the <laughs> the context of all this. But yeah, our our the, that didn't get approved. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. But I do want to know like more about the game itself. Like, yeah. Yeah, how long have you been working on it? Like, it's a VR game, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a VR game. It's uh, it's called Heart Shot. And uh, here you want the you want the little pitch? Dude, yeah, yeah, pitch elevator it to me, pitches. baby. Okay, elevator elevator pitch. So, imagine it's 1999. It, you're playing a game in VR that is similar to you know familiar with Time Crisis, where you mm -hmm. like pull out the blue or red gun and you shoot at the screen and they're like bad guys. We used to have out. an arcade version of it in the studio. Oh, oh yeah. Ready. Yeah. There was a cabinet here. Oh nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, so it's in that style. So it's in the old like retro uh, PS one, like pixelated graphics style, yeah. which also is like secretly helps with performance a lot. For VR. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, yeah, so we like gives you that the, jank buffer. Yeah. The jank is the style and also helps yes. with, you Sweet. know, the form. Um, so yeah, uh, you start out as like this action hero spy person and you're infiltrating this castle base, you know, shooting people up, explosions, blah, 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 very cartoonish violence. I don't want it to be actually like gruesome and violent. Like we don't need mm -hmm. that, but very, very, um, silly, glossy violence. And, uh, anyway, so you're going through this base, you're terminating bad guys, silence, pistol, explosions, et cetera, et cetera. And you turn a corner and you bump into one of these uh, goons and they drop their gun. You drop your gun and you're like, oh, my God, this is so sorry. <laughs> this is so awkward. They're like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you start picking up your guns and then you like lock eyes with this person and something happens. Mm. Oh, and that's beautiful. little hearts Heart start popping up oh. between you two and you fall in love with this person. Oh. And it's like, hey, do you want to like get out of here as explosions are like going off <laughs> in the distance? It's like, hey, do you want to get out of here and like go get some sushi uh, or something like that? And so it basically it turns from an action game into a <laughs> dating <Romance>. simulator. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, dude. Um, and then it goes back and forth throughout the course of the game between action and like silly dating sim, which honestly is like kind of along the lines of what you guys made like it's not going to be anywhere near as raunchy oh i i <laughs> would that, hope not yeah. but it's going to be like you're at the carnival and it's like you throw in the pins to try and win your date a teddy bear or whatever mm. and then there are various like emotional stakes throughout the story of your relationship being tested as you're both pulled in different directions by your employers um but yeah it's it's kind of weaves in between like traditional action game and, and rom-com. I That's think it's going to be awesome. pretty fun. That's awesome. It's very cool. Yeah. So you're hitting on the base emotions of love and violence. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, Everybody's favorite things. I mean, I yeah. It. You <laughs> said hearts hearts go off when, yeah. when the gremlin is born. That sounds really, really fun, man. It makes me want to play VR. I'm not a big VR guy, yeah. but I, I that make that sounds like a game that I want to play. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I would yeah. love uh, at some point to just bring it into the studio and have everybody... Yeah, oh, that's a great uh, idea. Be yeah, that would be awesome. We should at least yeah. do it for a crew cuts episode. That'd be that'd really be awesome. fun. Yeah, that would be super. Yeah. What made yeah. you want to uh, make a VR game in the first place? Well, I during the pandemic, I got a VR headset because I was. What else am I going to do yeah. with my time? Um, and yeah, I got it. It was when Half Life Alex came out, which is an amazing mm -hmm. virtual virtual reality game by yeah. Valve, who did like Half Life and Portal, and it's one of my favorite video games. games in general. It's yeah absolutely incredible i keep replaying it it's it feels yeah. like you're participating in a movie yeah by like a really well set dressed and acted and everything movie um and i was really inspired by that and <laughs> a couple years ago when i was working here full-time nico was like 
hey, you should learn Unreal for virtual production. I was like, okay. Um, I'm going <laughs> to learn Unreal for virtual production, but also on the side, I'm going to learn it for game development too. Because I love video games. I've always wanted to make a video game, but it's, yeah. you know, large barrier to entry. Mm -hmm. But hey, if I have an opportunity to learn it, um, get paid to do it, Heck why yeah. not? You know? So I spent the next few months learning it. And I made some crappy games. I made a Smash Brothers clone, which was super janky. Hey, I don't hey, even hey, wanna... that was not a crappy game, okay? It was. It, was <laughs> it looks the incredible. only game that I've ever been the champion of. That was, <laughs> I can't believe that worked out like that. It was yeah. amazing. That, that was, that was a, a very glee filled moment. Yeah, it, it couldn't have, we couldn't have written it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I worked on some other stuff and then I started playing around with virtual reality and unreal and just trying to wrap my head around those mechanics and as time went on I got a little bit better at it and I was like shit I can make a game anybody can make a game if yeah. you just spend enough time doing it mm -hmm. and uh, then two years later I uh, I have a pretty fun little demo uh, and so over these next couple months I'm going to polish that till kingdom come and uh, I'm gonna put it up for early access on Steam, and so you Heck guys yeah. and any of the viewers can play it. It's gonna be super fun. The awesome. mechanics are really, really polished at this point. It's the cool. animations Hell are yeah. great from what That's, I've seen, like yeah. the reloads and mm -hmm. all the little uh, the little wiggle bone animations. I've seen. Yeah, and all yeah. your posts on it's Instagram, so like how I keep yeah. up with it. And... Thanks. We just want it to like a, a lot of games in general and VR games require a, a certain amount of technical skill for it to be fun. Where like a lot of the time, a lot of the time, I'll like put a friend into VR for the first time and they'll be like bumbling around and dropping magazines and stuff like that. It's just not fun. And we want it to be fun, like right out of the box. Mm -hmm. And so there are crazy things you can do. Like if you release your clip and flick your hand up at the same time, it throws your clip at the enemy and oh, like yeah. staggers cool. them like John Wick style. That's cool. We, we want the game to be like a John Wick simulator. Oh, that's basically. awesome. And, it's, um, a, it's a magazine, Peter. It's not a clip. It's okay. I thought it's fine. I thought it's it fine. was a clip, not a magazine. <laughs> no, no, no. A clip is the thing that they used to put into M1 Garands. You know, like, the, oh. like when, it's, when the when the when the rounds are actually clipped together, and you're dropping it in. That's a, that's actually a clip. Okay. Um, yeah, Peter. The magazine. Oh. Is the <laughs> I yeah, known. I yeah. knew that it's for okay. sure. <laughs> okay, but can we just like be the people here to decide once and for all that a clip is also a magazine? <laughs> yes, yeah, we go. can within our that. world right uh -huh. here in this podcast room. Yeah, it is. Damn. I'm no, I'm just giving you, I'm just giving you crap. <laughs> that sounds awesome, man. I'm really excited for that. And nice. we should totally do something with it, like play it in a video or yeah. do something yeah. more with it and, and, and get it. I want it to get out to as many people as possible. So I, however you, we can help with that. Yeah. I appreciate that. Well, yeah. And that was the thinking behind this too. Is like we, we we're in a situation where, yeah, in its original it. form of this idea, <laughs> in its God. original form of this idea, it was going to be a render challenge where we make yeah. three different mobile game ads, mm -hmm. and then we just show them, and it's like, ah, oh, you made yeah. this one, that's gross, sure, ew, sure. gross. And it didn't feel like it had the same life behind. I mean, once once the idea floated real world to stakes. make it with real world stakes, <laughs> Sam got so excited. He's like, we're making this. We're doing yeah. it right now. And we and, got all excited and keeping you in the dark. Like we really kept mm -hmm. Peter in the dark on this one. Yeah. Peter so, yeah, trusted us. We haven't brought that up yet. This. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Peter and, had and no <laughs> idea what was happening. I wasn't allowed I'll, to look at Instagram. Yeah. We, we basically yeah. just, we, we called Peter up, you know, we're, we're thinking like, okay, so we have a solid idea of how we're going to do this. You know, we, we want to get the data, right? We want to, we want to actually run this mm -hmm. ad somewhere. Um, and get the data and, and prove that it actually can be more effective yes. than a regular, you know, cinematic gameplay trailer, right? Sure. Um, so, you know, so we call Peter. We're like, okay, Peter, we have this idea. We're going mm -hmm. to make an ad for you. This but, was... But that's I, all you knew, right? You guys on the phone were so genuine. <laughs> well, we were. <laughs> we, we were genuine. <laughs> there was zero mention of booties well, or stinky of course not. I pregnant. think it needs, to be, it needs to be duly noted here how good of a sport Peter was with this. Okay? Yes. So I don't think this oh, has yeah. been fully extrapolated. This is his game that he's been working on for two years. Three years. <laughs> and, and, and we call him up out of the blue and we say, Peter, we want to make a game ad for your game, which... When in context, it sounds like, oh, this is going to be dope. Like these guys are going to make this <laughs> yeah, I was sending over gameplay ad. and everything. Yeah, I'm going to send them over the cinematic trailer <laughs> so they know what it's like. And the whole time, 
Matt and Jordan are in, over there snickering <laughs> about how they're going to make. <laughs> Jake, hold on. First of all, we did make him a game mad. Matt cut him together. We made two <laughs> game ads. We did make two game A ads. normal one. But yep. what was funny was on the call with Peter, as we were like pitching him, we want to, you know, make this like a great way to promote the game. Like we love it, this, that, and the other. And he's on the phone and he's like, just so you guys know, like, you can make it a little silly. Yeah. Because we were, yeah, we were being yeah. so serious so with our presentation. Up. So he's like, and we were dying. At that point, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so the green light. We literally yeah. started, we were like holding back tears. It was <laughs> so funny hearing you say, you guys are you, Yeah, we'll make it a little silly. <laughs> okay. Oh all right. With your blessing. We'll I had a it. feeling there was something that I wasn't like that you guys had up your sleeve. I didn't know it was going to be that insane. Yeah. <laughs> Which honestly, it's like, I. I don't care. It's hilarious. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not actually bothered by any of yeah. this. Yeah, but honestly, Peter, the thing that you were the best sport about is the fact that you just willingly handed us the keys yeah. to your Instagram account. You we have full control Kingdom. of your Instagram account for like three or four days. Yeah, you should probably change that password. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely <laughs> should. Yeah, you should. And you just um, never went on it. You just, you just trusted didn't. it and you didn't see well, it. let it go. Well, uh, when you guys put that video up, I was on my main Instagram account. And I saw about two seconds of just a booty getting smacked. Oh, you did get uh, You saw a little bit. And I was like, I'm not supposed to see this. <laughs> oh, and I like man. begrudgingly scrolled past it. <laughs> Respect for keeping going, Respect. man. But like your, your first instinct was not like, I'm not supposed to see this. It was like, I'm not supposed to see this. This isn't suitable content for this platform. Yeah. Is what you really thought. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, what is this? <laughs> <My>. <laughs> but uh, as we were doing the presentation, like... Peter, I, I, me and Matt both, as we were like presenting it, we showed it. Genuinely, we're so concerned that you were upset. <laughs> yeah, that I, I remember like feet, like vibrating a little bit. I was oh, like, no. oh no, I think I think we went too far. Yeah, <laughs> and thank you for giving me the peace of mind at the end. Going, no, 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 it's I like I think it's great. You want to repost <laughs> yeah, it, like ham put it, it back up. up. Yeah, yeah, he hammed up a little bit. But man, I but was, it genuinely made us think that he uh, was. <laughs> yeah, the he test was, was to see. The bit. test was to see if. Because the whole thing where this idea spawned from was you see all these absurd mobile games. They're nothing like the game mm -hmm. at yeah. all. So <laughs> no. if we make one that's nothing like the game at all, is it still actually effective in converting people to the game itself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, because right. why else would they do it? Well, I mean, we found that, I mean, Matt, will will give you the numbers, but give we, the numbers, uh, all right. we have found that that is totally the case. And it's like a yeah. matter of, there's so much content. It's so oversaturated. Just get noticed, get noticed, mm. get clicked. If you retain even 5% of the people who download the game, that's 5% more than you would have gotten just being boring. Yeah. Mm. And it's right. like, again, hit the reptile brain, move right past the thinking brain. <laughs> yep. And in writing this, that was the hardest thing. We sat in this room for an hour and a half <laughs> trying to turn off our thinking brain. <laughs> yeah. And just Somehow. going, his butt gets big. I don't know. <laughs> and eventually we've... Walk we've... on booty cheeks. <laughs> yeah, These I don't things know. happen. That's amazing. It's, it's well, a work let's of Let's talk art. about the numbers and then we'll talk about how... And then we'll talk about another thing. Yeah, let's talk about so the numbers what, what were the because, numbers? Because yeah. the, the crazy thing is... Now, first of all, I just want to give you an idea of what the mobile game market is like. Like... It, last year, just last year, and this we mentioned this in the video too, but I just want to emphasize that the mobile game market in itself last year uh, generated $92 billion oh in revenue. It's crazy. And the, the PC gaming market made, I believe, $38 billion. Wow. And the console made $40 billion, 40 something billion. That's, that's PS5, doubling. PS4, That's Xbox, all the consoles. Nintendo. And PC still comes under Just the mobile gaming. Re market wow. revenue for that's, mobile game ads. That's nuts. That's bonkers, it's right? It's nuts. It's insane. You're talking yeah. about like, like jewel matching. Yeah. That's all it is. <laughs> it's just like jewel matching. Yeah. And they've also figured out this way in their marketing to like have, it's sort of like a loophole that they've uh, created for themselves almost where it's like, it's not technically false advertising because there is at least an element of what they've shown yeah. in their, in all their ads in the game. But sure. it's like in level like 99. Yeah. Uh, right. They uh -huh. push it all the way back to the end, but technically, yeah. legally, it's yeah. still in the game. So that they can mark it like something like 0.5% like of people will get to it. Yeah. So Jeez. they're covering Who it. Who is clicking on these ads? Dude, it turns out. Is it kids? Uh, okay. It must be kids. I've got a fun anecdote about Over 50% women. That's one thing that okay, I remember. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, <laughs> so, which is my, interesting. My mother in law. 
Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the target demo. Yeah. Mom, literally, this woman, I love her to death, but oh my God, you guys, she, she's she been in California at her other daughter's house for the last couple months because uh, mm-hmm. she goes there to spend time with her. And other than that, she she lives with us. And so Wendy had called her to just ask her how she was doing and, and what she was doing that day. And she she's like, what are you doing today, mom? And her mom was like, oh, I got, uh, I've got to like feed the chickens and like <laughs> do the, do this thing and that thing. And when he was confused, like, you don't, do you have, they got chickens? What's going on? Like she was talking about what she had to do in heyday. That's right. <laughs> yes. Heyday, baby. That's the retention I'm like, talking about, man. She was like, this is what I have to do today. I have to complete these heyday tasks. Yeah. And you wonder, like, is it, it's the feeling of accomplishment. I mean, clearly that would make you feel like, Hey, I did like, I did three, four five things today. Sure. Yep. And it was easy. And I got like that dopamine hit of like accomplishment, accomplishment, accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you just got to rope them in, keep the ones that stay and then slowly add in these paywalls that, Hey, I've already invested. Yeah. It's like, um, the sunk cost fallacy, right? Like I've already put in this much money. I, I keep, I want to keep going, but I have to just, Oh, it's three bucks. Three yeah. bucks. Right. And that happens with a hundred thousand people. It's like all of a sudden you're starting to rake in crazy amounts of money. Whoa. You know, it's <laughs> it's pretty smart stuff. But yeah, yeah. that loophole so that Matt's talking it's about. Smart it's a big in deal. that sense. But is it also just slowly driving our entire species off of a cliff? <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> for sure. Morally yeah. de- it's morally <laughs> definitely you know. Too. Yeah. It's we morally Defecate, defecant. What, what are those little yeah. marmots that <laughs> morally defecant? Those hundred <laughs> percent defecant. Aren't there like some kind of marmots or prairie dogs that just all run off a cliff together? That's kind of what mobile <laughs> games. Right, yeah. That's Buffalo what that will is. do that. Buffalo oh yeah, sure will do they'll do it too. Started yeah. in the right direction. Yeah. I just I kind of view it as like, and this might be a, a terrible analogy here, but I view it as like in Vegas, the console games and the PC oh. games. Those are the table games. That's blackjack. That's mm. you know. Uh, all those other classic games. Then you've got the slots. And the slots are a different beast altogether. That's all about getting you addicted, at the turning off your brain, and just yeah. hoping, yeah. hoping, I mean, hoping. Yeah. bright Candy colors even games. looks like a slot machine. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah, that's mobile games, man. They're like, they're trying to turn your brain off and just keep yep. churning more it's out like, of you. They basically like, are slot machines. I mean, they use yeah. the same color mechanics. patterns, mechanics, mm-hmm. like addiction Random patterns. Random chance of victory. Yeah. yeah, 100%. And it's like they have that dialed into where you'll win just enough to keep you coming back, mm-hmm. but not enough to where you get bored. Like they, it's pretty messed up. Yeah. It's pretty <laughs> messed up. And the fact that they up, don't right. care at all about the art of the game to the point where those are the ads is just perfectly, sure. you know, illustrating yeah. how little yeah. care there is. And for someone who's poured his heart into this thing and like genuinely cares about it, it's really funny that that's the case. <laughs> <Yeah, very, laughs> we thought it was really funny <laughs> to the sell contrast. your game like yeah, that. Like oh, you boy. really care about but this did thing. it work? Oh. Yeah, yeah, let's hear the numbers. Let's talk, yes. let's talk stats, man. Let's talk numbers here. Let's, let's talk I got, numbers, I got, figures. I got a screen recording here. Because <laughs> so, all will be forgiven if you actually brought people to Peter's game. That's true. Wait, do we... <laughs> I will... Do we say if it works? Eye. Do we say if it works on this podcast, or we just... Anyone this that is does... Coming, this will be out by... After it's in the, the video. video. Comes out. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, should they just go watch the video? And check it out well, for yourself. Yeah, go oh, watch the video. Fine. Yeah, they've fine. already seen this is the we this is the <laughs> this is the uh, debrief. The come on, you know how all we right, always right, debrief right, it right, in the right, podcast. The funnel direction is video. Lands here. Podcast. All right. So website. So this is well, what ideally you screen. watch the video right. as a web as a quarter digital member. Of course, of course. And you watched it on quarter digital. Mm. Yes, you all which, did. Guys. Yeah. Oh my God! Can I just say this is why you listen to the podcast because I'm about to drop some information right Ooh. here. Say it. Oh, say it. We submitted LG for smart TV last week. We submitted Samsung for smart TV today. We're oh. submitting Apple on Friday, and we're submitting Android next Friday. Wait, we're gonna have apps? It's the best news ever. Yeah. We're gonna have TV, smart TV apps, oh, and these that's they super look cool. They look, dude. I'm so, so excited about that. They I, look I know so that... good is a high compliment coming from Jake. Jake has high standards for these things. I I do, and they look really good, and I'm so excited. So anyways. Yeah. I can't wait to use that. Yeah, that's yeah. this is awesome. It's great to have. I my, I know my parents were like asking for it for a while. Yeah. And they're like, we're when gonna is this do gonna Roku work? It later. Work. Roku's like a little bit more complicated, so don't worry, Roku people. I'm a Roku guy too. We're gonna do Roku. Just you're gonna have to download it. 
on your smart TV first. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, what, I'm what, sorry. what about what about like PS5, well, PS4, Xbox. PS5? Yes. yes. And Xbox Two, no. or is that on the way? Xbox. I gotta ask Scott, but PS4 and PS5. We have Dude. a call with them, like on That's... Friday. Well, so, that's awesome. Yes. What about VR? Can we have like a minority report thing hey. with videos Ooh, yeah. going around? That'd I mean, if you want to build it. Okay. <laughs> build, oh, scan no. the office. No. no. Scan the you office. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about like doing a virtual tour in VR, like the Universal virtual oh, tour. My. Yeah. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Hi, that's such a Welcome good idea. Welcome to like, Core do, Digital. Do the, like, do like the janky version, but in VR. Oh my God. <laughs> and we can like, with our idea. scans, we can stage certain things in certain rooms. Yeah. Memories yeah. Okay, of corridor and then we history. Can, and when we can have like a project going on and it'll actually just be a <laughs> casino where we'll yeah. get people slightly addicted to coming into <laughs> the, the studio. Right. We yeah. have a uh, yeah. heart shot in the corner heart on arcade. Yeah. You just pull you a have lever. You have to hook up your credit card before you play. Definitely. And like every time you open the door you get 10 subscribers to your virtual social media <laughs> profile <laughs> oh boy oh god but uh back to these numbers back to these yeah. numbers <laughs> let's <laughs> talk, numbers. Let's talk, right. stats let's talk numbers because the first thing that you know you probably are all aware if you've seen the video um it didn't work <laughs> in terms of like actually being an ad that we could run uh instagram said nope yeah, when we say didn't work, <laughs> no way. When we say didn't work, we mean just in getting approved. Like Instagram oh, it, shut down it even being an ad. It mm. it was it, Instagram refused Flagged to for run everything. it as an actual ad. Flagged okay. for sexual content. So for child oh, just, child endangerment just, or something. Child like endangerment. That. Violence, violence, the end. violence <laughs> towards children. <laughs> the tiger. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. There's the tiger thing that uh -huh. happens. Um, the How many times did it get rejected? Every time I did, I ran it like I tried to do it like four different times. And you cut things rejected. out, right? You cut certain things that you thought, oh, this must be. What yeah, they I mean. actually did, I went through the trouble of cutting out <laughs> certain elements of it to try to get uh, enough leave it of to it. Instagram to destroy a work of art. But I know. What's crazy is it is no worse than what is already running. Yeah, that's what drives <laughs> me nuts. It really isn't. I wonder how they get that stuff through. I, d I, I was I, literally maybe. watching an, an ad. Yes. I skip it, but it's a six second ad. And the first six seconds start with some character, some 3D character who looks like a knight just sunken into the bosom of some, mm. <laughs> you know, busty I've seen blonde that one. girl. Yeah, I know. Like, that how is. is that good? I've seen that one. How is that and, approved? And then I skip and I don't know what happens after that, but I, I'm just. How is that approved? Exactly. Yeah. No, it made it enraged me. <laughs> I, I yeah. was genuinely pissed off about it because it like doesn't make sense why ours. You know, oh. it's like it's I guess the mobile game industry. It's a freaking hundred billion dollar industry, man. So I sure. guess money moves, baby. A money year. Speaks. So you know that I guess they, they got probably also have that dialed in to such a degree. Oh, in sure. Terms of what you can and can't get away sure. with. Yeah. Just to the edge. Just yes. to the edge. Yeah. yeah. I bet that's. What I it have is. no idea where that edge. We did not find it clearly. Maybe like the the incest birth thing. That probably was the sure. incest birth proposal. Yeah, that was probably a bit far far the incest proposal. It was specifically. Well, I mean, incest. it was her it was child. Her child, but also a man who yeah. might be unrelated. I don't actually know oh, the he, lore. Did he propose to her? He did propose to her. Yeah, he took oh, a knee. Okay. Oh, I like to true. Okay, I like yeah, to believe right. that he has like a home gym inside her body. Yeah, like he's just mean, been working out for, <laughs> little, for years. He looked like Our, one of those six-year-old guys who's on the keto <laughs> diet. And like works out every day. You know? Yeah, but uh, I mean, Matt did post it on the Heart Shot page, yeah. so we do have uh -huh. some numbers that would illustrate how it would perform just probably. on a smaller scale. Isn't right, it on a yeah. smaller scale? Exactly. No, uh, on a, uh, yeah, and on a scale that uh, these are all your followers, your real followers uh, <laughs> oh, saw sorry. both of these ads. This is the kind of crowd you're in keeping real here. life. Let's um, find out. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so <laughs> now our, I'm actually, I'm proud of this little edit for the cinematic version. Oh, I it's think great. It, it's it's really a fun good. little edit. I wish I had some of the other story beats in there too, but mm. you know, we'll, we'll see if we can maybe squeeze some of those in too. It'd be fun to get some of the romance. Uh, stuff in there um, yeah. but either way yeah this is like a fun little cinematic just kind of uh, to like a really cool beat um, and uh, yeah it just basically shows what the game is you know no mm -hmm. uh, no no lies or deceit here uh, <laughs> and what we got is five comments and eight shares mm -hmm. All right. on that okay uh, it's a respectable number mm -hmm. um, but then we go to our 
uh, more unconventional the creative, marketing you know, strategy. creatively free. And what we've been referring internally the as the abomination. The abomination. <laughs> the abomination. Yes. Jake coined it. Uh, the abomination. I like to say the abomination because of the butt. It's <laughs> good. Uh, That's good work. Thank you very much. Um, now, this one has 24 comments and 183 shares. <laughs> Look at that. That's 1,800% increase <laughs> in, in sharing. 400% increase in comments. The numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie, baby. 500 increase in comments. They don't Our lie, numbers. guys. Don't, don't <laughs> and this lie. stuff works, man. You know, yep. and it's I, I've been making peace with myself this entire process each night saying it's not us. It's not our fault. This is the way the world is. Yeah. Right. <laughs> We're feeding the beast that exists. Don't hate the player. Yep. Hate the game. Guys. Don't hate the player. Exactly, if we don't feed it, exactly. someone else is going to. Someone else is going to And Peter it. deserves that attention because his game is worth it. Thank yep. you. And yeah. so this was a fight for our boy. All right. That's true. Right. At least we can pull a. At least we can pull a, a, a fast one on them when they yeah. actually get to the <laughs> game and find out how good it is. Exactly. And That's we exactly right. we had a long discussion about the ending of that ad too, and we wanted to make sure that Peter France was eternally <laughs> tied to the ad by legally. putting Peter France's <laughs> legal shot. shot. The game. Yeah, the he game. has no <laughs> no choice. <laughs> if this is game. Did you even use one. the same? Did you even use the same logo font? No, it's, it's not the same this, font. No, it's yeah. Gri- my name. You and use the name like of the game green. Is Griffin, that's the only yeah, relationship. Griffin, Griffin created just a original. beautiful representation. It is really good. Yeah. It is a it is a perfect it's perfect parody of exactly these mobile game mobile game. Guys, if this game does do well, um, and someone decides to sue me for false advertising, I think they'd win. Mm-mm. No, no, no. Because here's the loophole. There you go. As long as there is some Peter, aspect, never admit, never admit fault, Peter, in a legal case. Here, here's it's the late. thing, Jake. Also, okay, as, lo- as long as there is something from the ad in the game, we're good. And so Peter graciously <laughs> is going <laughs> Willingly to include can- our <laughs> ad on the screen of one of the arcade games in the game or, yes. or somewhere. Yeah, yeah. It's and now it's in, in the game, baby. And that's <laughs> an Easter egg for you guys to find. That I, I really am gonna yeah. do. Yeah, that's so fun, dude. A heart shot for an that. arcade game. Like that's yeah. so. Fun. I sent him the files. <laughs> he has everything he <laughs> needs in, to put. put it in like the like the dystopian <gasps> display window. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. In an arcade, like, 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 like a big egg. display in Blade Runner. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Make it as big as possible. <laughs> you have Ryan Gosling looking at it all stone faced. Yes. Yeah. Not saying a word, yeah. but saying everything. Exactly. All at the same time. Yeah. I'll say this one other thing. When uh, this other little stat for you. <laughs> um, now Peter's Peter's uh heart shot uh Instagram, which <laughs> is the one we use the official game Instagram, not Peter's actual account. Um, so this this heart shot Instagram, it doesn't have a whole lot of followers. Um, and if you'd like to be so gracious as to follow Heart Shot, uh, and it's at Heart Shot Game. Uh, on Instagram now, nice. it only it only has a hundred. It, right it, it only has one thousand three hundred uh, followers. Okay, that's a lot, dude. Yeah, it's don't say only one thousand three hundred. Uh, now, but, okay, well, wait, wait. To ready? Are you ready? Profile. Are you watching the followers? But the, check it oh. out now. <gasps> Refresh. Oh. And you know why he did that? Because of oh. the ad. He did it. That was because Jay of the ad. Me. Dang. Well, so, so that's because of you guys. <laughs> You're welcome. You lost twenty when <laughs> so we these, posted it, but now you got one. Yeah, whatever. So nineteen. <laughs> Weed out the week, you know. Send them home. Oh, sure. did he the one followers? So, so no. Did so my point, when he my, my point, and what I was saying <laughs> <laughs> is that yes. I was as soon as we posted the uh, more offensive mobile game ad, uh, his followers started dropping immediately. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> he lost like twenty followers. I would love to know in like a couple of hours. <laughs> I bet it, it was, was like, like oh, a, an aunt of mine mm. was probably. So anytime there. you do something avant garde, you know, people just can't handle it. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what happens? It's the tide pulling back before the next wave. Exactly. Yeah. That's what that is. Uh, and that's the thing. That's Peter. the week being cold, uh-huh. and then yeah. the new wave of people that you're going to be getting. True. More people are going to come I don't through. Know how I back about before the, word the tidal cold, wave. Yeah. Cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. it's. I it's, mean, any. Uh, all of the greats were not regarded during their time. You, Van they, Gogh. they were not revered. It's exactly now, right. after the after the fact, uh, they are recognized. Jackson Pollock. So I yeah. think that's what's going to happen. The here. thing is, Peter, it's yeah. a great Andy page. Warhol. It has a lot of great updates on what you've been doing and uh-huh. fun little pieces of content in there. So, you know, I'll smash that like button all over those. You things. know, I think I'm going to delete those. And hire <laughs> you guys full time. Yeah, gets it. Big yeah, picture. that sounds great. No, sick. This guys, thank that's you. Awesome. That was actually in the contract that you signed, by the way. So you know. Yeah. So actually, part of the deal. Yeah, we we have ten <clears throat> percent of all rights in perpetuity. We do. But, yeah. Uh, other yeah, than that, okay. uh, we're that's good. Fine. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. 
Thank you. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. You did. You it's did about the day. contract, baby. <laughs> I've agreed day. to that with so many people, so it's just going to be split evenly between <laughs> yeah. you all. So, you yeah. now have like negative twenty three percent of I'm your game. Lots of debt. Oh, uh, God. You said though, and you don't have to, but you you mentioned that you might make that that archived post live again. The, well, I did. The hard Matt shot asked me to for some reason. I didn't even read the whole text. I was just like, okay, y'all on un- archive yeah, it. I was, it was just for the video. The, right, right, right. The crew video is now. Yeah, I haven't even seen the crew video yet. So I'm very excited to see it. Yeah. But um, I was thinking, what if we take, okay, so the structure of this ad is it starts as Big Stinky. Big Stinky. Right. Yep. And then it goes into, don't you hate it when the ad isn't the real game? And the Here's the real game. game. And then there's like the gameplay. Mm-hmm. But then you do it again. And it's like, don't you hate when the real gameplay isn't the real gameplay? <gasps> Here's the real gameplay. And then we do the actual trailer. That's when actually real- such a oh, great idea. That's good. You're getting yeah. the attention. You're giving them the real game. Uh-huh. Wait, we don't even have to, we that. don't even have to film a new one. We just do the uh, a new uh, AI voice. AI thing. voice. Yeah. And then attach. <laughs> Und- the ge- yeah. yeah, that's genius. That's good. There you go. This guy thinks big. So, don't you hate it when the real game is not the real not game? The real game. Yeah, this exactly. is the real game. This is the real game. <laughs> this is the real, this game. Is the real game. And, and then you do it a fourth time and it's just a black screen. I love it. <laughs> just, I love yeah. it, Peter. They're just looking at themselves in the reflection like, oh, <laughs> life's a game. Whoa. Big thought, Whoa. right? Whoa. Artist. And you're losing. And you're losing. <laughs> Get off your phone. I can put that together for you, Peter. If That's you awesome. genuinely want that. Yeah. I love that. I'm totally down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. yeah, that that too, Jake. That don't you hate it when the game's not a game is another trope that is just abundant. It's it's crazy yeah. to me how many times I started seeing ads where the guy would come down and it would be his voice and he'd be like, Hey, don't you hate it when the game's not the game? This is the game and it's not the game. That's also a lie. Oh. But yeah. then you started getting enhanced versions of that where their voice wasn't even their voice and it didn't match their mouth. Right. And they were saying, don't you hate it when the game's not the game? Weird. Right. So it was getting crazier and crazier. So we're like, we need to include that as well. <laughs> Dude, there's a, there's another layer deep. I think I showed you this. Uh, mm. It's probably not in the video, but uh, there there is an apology video from the, the CG characters oh. apologizing that the game wasn't the game enough. What? That's amazing. <laughs> it wasn't enough of the actual game. And they were like, we're sorry, we'll give you a free promo code because code, oh our game was not the game. That's incredible. Whoa. Yeah, they like apologize. Okay, you know what? I bet that was an ad too. I but yeah, it strategic. is exactly because it gives you free shit. Genius. Like, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's and clever. yeah, a- anytime they Still do have a ad. real person on though, it's always someone who's very like punchable. Like they're they're yeah. upsetting to to look at. Yeah. <laughs> and so we did a poll on Corridor's Instagram. I don't know if you know this. I I saw it. We did a, saw. who has a more punchable face. I voted, but I'm not gonna say for who. That I respect that. Yeah, it was neck and neck. It was. <laughs> so I, I won. I won by a slim seventy six percent. I wonder. A slim if most we of should the do votes. one with me and you because I have this underlying. This may just be my own self doubt, but I have this underlying theory that that a lot of people in the Corridor audience want to punch me. So I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> No. Give me your, give me your most know. punchable look face. His, look at his face. Give me your most punchable face. Oh, um, I did. I did a smile that people just hated. <laughs> that's, <kind of> <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's a little good. bit punchable. I was, I was about to get up from my chair, honestly. Just okay, Matt. See, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Matt. Punchable you, face? Your most punchable, punchable face. face. To the camera. You want to punch him? <laughs> He's got like that's handsome pretty good. boy. That's that's that's. I kind of want to fall handsome. in love with that yeah. face. I don't know. That's a blue steel right there. Sorry. Yeah, oh, man. you got a pretty good punchable face, Jake. But Thanks. our goal was, you know, to to figure it out because who I you listen know. to a lot of SoundCloud rappers. Yeah, <laughs> yes, there, brother. You go. there you go, baby. But yeah, who, whoever won that contest was going to be the face that comes down, uh, yeah. just to further enhance how upsetting the commercial was. Sure. So, I like that yeah. you did a so poll funny. about it. That's that's yeah. good mark. That's marketing so genius. Right the research, man. Scientific. Yeah, you guys put a lot of research into this. We're by the book. Yeah, by the book, a hundred percent. So, yeah, gotta live with that. Uh, so yeah. Peter, when, yes. when are you going to release this game, my friend? Oh, boy. Well, thank you guys for uh, being so gracious with your time and energy in helping me promote my game. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, we genuinely think it's going to be really cool. I can't wait to play it. Seriously. Thanks. Yeah. it's. I think it's going to be really fun. I know it's really fun. It, yeah. It's gotten to the point where... Sometimes I'll be playtesting and then I'll just keep playing. Oh, that's oh, great. You know? Sweet, dude. Cause, and then I, I forget that I'm supposed to be playtesting because I'm just having a good time playing right. around with mechanics. Like yeah. we have a force grab thing where you can, um, like if somebody's attacking you, you can grab a bottle from a table over there and throw it at them and like yeah. it makes them stagger for a second. Gives yeah. you time to reload or whatever. 
Yeah, you, there's also fun. there's another mechanic that is like that's why I, I made sure to put it in the trailer as like a highlight moment mm -hmm. is this like gun rotating gun arm oh, yeah. thing where it's like you can switch your guns that are just attached to your arm in this right. little cylinder. Yeah. yeah, it's like VR is so immersive. Why have menus? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's like, yeah. why have a weapon switching menu? Just make it a, a gauntlet. Yeah, a gauntlet are awesome. of guns. Yeah, it kicks ass. It's really cool. Yes. Pretty fun. Are there yeah. any like big features that you want to add that you're not sure you'll have the bandwidth or like capability <sighs> at this point of adding? Well, mm, the big one right now is right now it's only PC VR. So it's not the initial early access release isn't going to be for Oculus mm. standalone. You can still play it on your Oculus connected to a computer, but like no standalone. Okay. So that's going to be the big thing is once it's out, converting it to the Oculus standalone, which is it doesn't have as much computing power and stuff like that. So you got to kind of pare it down a little bit. But honestly, since it's in this like cheesy retro graphics style, I don't think it's going to be too bad. Heck yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, I always say that. And then it is. <laughs> so how, how big is like your team? Or is it? It is three people. It's me. Um, I'm doing the coding and a lot of the art and assets. Uh, my roommate and business partner, Riley, yeah. is who you guys Love know him, very yeah. well, are, uh, is uh, doing a lot of the level design in the like, the block meshing, like a lot of these um, AAA games, I've, I've been watching a lot of like conferences about this kind of thing, and they'll uh, they'll do this thing called the block mesh, where you basically you just create your level with simple shapes and cubes, no lighting, no textures or anything, and then you play it and make sure it's really fun, just like that. Mm. And so then when you throw in the textures and the nice lighting and the environments and everything after makes it extra juicy because yeah. the base gameplay is super fun. That's smart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah so, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Riley's doing a lot of that. And then we also have uh, Benjamin Squires, who's doing the music, who's the same guy who did the music for Scooty. Dude, yeah. So, oh, yeah. It's, it's that's, be really good. So, yeah, and this is like another like level to the con that we did on you because <laughs> because uh, out of necessity, I needed to ask for a lot of assets from you, like a lot of, you know, game footage mm -hmm. um, as well as the music. So I heard the music and it yeah. slaps. It's very Thanks. cool. It didn't work for a trailer. I had to find my own. <laughs> yeah, but, you yeah. know, I, I got a good idea of, like, what the feel of the game was. It's pretty and sweet. It's great. Yeah, yeah it's we, very cool. We pitched uh, Benjamin the idea of doing, like, old, like, using terrible old synthesizers that they would have used for the 90s games, but then mixing it with traditional orchestration. So you get this really fun blend. And Yeah, it's really yeah, cool. It sounds pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh, especially the castle ones. Thanks. I love the castle yeah, level ones. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Those are sweet. Benjamin. Yeah. Hell yeah, Benjamin. Yeah. yeah. You did great. <laughs> I'm gonna get my hands uh, on this game. Well, yeah, man. Let's see if we can get that engagement up eighteen hundred percent, boys. Man. <laughs> yeah. That was validating. Yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah, that it was, did feel good. I was so nervous <laughs> I mean, about with actual stuff from the game. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, me too. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you're talking about. I mean, thing, we have a yeah. proven method. Like, kid, like, okay, this it's all silly, and you know, like with the, with the ad and everything, but like. The corridor video, that's the real ad. That's the real yeah, ad, so, exactly. There yeah. is so a you true guys are doing me a real favor here, so thank yeah, you. Yeah, for that, sure. That's also, that helped me man. sleep at night yeah. as well. Your game deserves it. Appreciate yeah. that. Oh, hey, Peter, well, well, we have you here. I want to ask you about another um, idea we have. Um, okay. we, we, we have this idea to go out and have, so that the title is Professional VFX Artists Make Street Portraits for oh Random People. <laughs> um so we want to go out to like a park next week and yeah. um and and do caricatures with willing uh -huh. participants. Yeah. So we do and like then, a scan and then we we edit the scan and like put it in an environment. Yeah. And then give them <laughs> and then give them the render like the image render, you know, a single frame. That sounds frame. great. Everybody loves art where they're the subjects. Like you see yeah. people on the subway drawing people and they give it to them and it, it always makes their day. Right. Yeah, we go so into the subway fun. with laptops and solar <laughs> that, power. Yeah, and money. We're just the funniest way all to do staring this. at one person. Yes, <laughs> no, dude. we bring do our it desktop on the subway. <laughs> not amazing. in LA, dude. Not in LA. Dude, Heck no. no. <laughs> we bring dude, a we generator could do it on our desktop We could PCs. do it on the light rail. We're leaving without our laptops if that's the case. <laughs> no, Christian will Christian will be security, dude. No, we have plenty <laughs> yeah, of airsoft Christian. guns. We'll just like drape them over our bodies. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. That's yeah, so Nico funny. just dresses as John that. Wick. Yeah. <laughs> oh so we want God. we want to do that next week. Yeah, let's do it. Let's okay. Great. Okay. Cool. Cool. I think we're Sweet. gonna need to bring like a generator or a solar array though, because the laptops aren't gonna last long enough on the batteries. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little worried about even seeing the laptop when we're out there. You know, 
I've ne- I don't think I've ever successfully seen a laptop screen outside. Oh, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. We I'm thinking get, um, we I'm thinking we bring a tent. Hey, stranger, come Wait, in this you... tent real quick. <laughs> well, no, not like scan a, your body. Not, not an enclosed tent. <laughs> not like We're going to scan your body. Come <laughs> in. There's like nine cameramen. <laughs> come in. Come into the tent. <laughs> oh, no, just like a cover, you know? We make, we make content. The... <laughs> come in. So, yeah. we get like so the, the get, photography you sheet the you put over your head. Wait, can <laughs> anyone too. can anyone post up on Venice and like sell street art and stuff? Until they're probably they gonna out. they're probably gonna tell you you can't. I think you need permits for that. Really? Oh, Which is why I think we should go to we should go to Hollenbeck Park because Hollenbeck Park is very chill. We filmed videos in there. One, we filmed a video in there where we had a wrestling ring set up and a man in nothing but a wrestling speedo. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> and we had like three cameras, and we were we were in there all day. And what the cops drove by. And it never released. It was called. Oh. Um, it was it like never released w- all that yeah. for nothing. A personal <laughs> it was, project. <laughs> it was like WWE moves in IRL. That's also pretty um, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> It didn't. It didn't He's just quite. Hurting strangers. Yeah. The, <laughs> the execution didn't quite meet the idea, so that's why we canned mm. it. But uh, yeah, um, we. The point is, we filmed in there all day. Cops drove by. People walked by. It was very relaxed. People didn't mind. So that's a that's really amazing. good spot to do it. And there's always people there. Okay. Well, question about permits. I feel like if your permit looks official enough, they're not going to call anyone to like see mm. if it's legit. No, at least not for like an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that buys either. you enough time. Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, you need a place with a decent amount of foot traffic, not like a lot, but enough to where you can finally get a couple of people. No, I'm telling you, Hollenbeck Park like in the degree. afternoon is people go there after work and stuff, and it's okay. it's it's yeah. nice and serene, and it's it's pretty relaxing, and there's always people there. It's a good spot. Cool, it'll work, and it's right Sweet. by the studio. Sweet. That sounds super fun. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Well, cool. might get a might get to reuse some of those assets from the mobile game. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Here's go. Check out <laughs> check out Peter's check out Peter's game. Um, join yes. the Instagram now so you know nice when it comes all. out, and um, we'll all be playing it. Uh, so, anyways, Peter, thanks for being a good sport with all this. Yeah, man. Um, Thank you. Thank you, no, brother. This is so fun. Thank what, you, man. What am I gonna say? No. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all. I I knew you guys. Whatever you guys were gonna make was be, gonna be amazing. And. In case I haven't said it enough yet, that what you did make is insane and amazing. <laughs> Thank and you, like, brother. Thanks. It's a work of art. Like uh, I seriously <laughs> think it needs a LACMA exhibit. <laughs> it is truly insane. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Thank yeah, you, brother. It's insane. Pretty good. All right. Are you ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna play oh, us out. Let's do it. All right. All right. All the feet going. I'm wondering when that solo album's coming out. Mm. Yeah, seriously, who mm. needs one? Next year, guys. Next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you Bye, later, everybody. Bye. Bye.